what a Nara seed looks like and please plant some. About a year and a half ago, I just kept collecting Nara seeds and so I was really amazed when the tree I planted finally grew taller than me. I really wanted to share that with my friends and hopefully help out on the global crisis even if it's just in the slightest bit. Hi, I'm Kiana and I'm turning 20. So I'll be making my gift bags while sharing 20 things I learned in my 20 years of life. So, 1. Eat good food. This 2021, I started eating all healthy foods from a lifetime, or at least 20 years, of all fried foods and no veggies. So this year, I started eating salad every night and even drinking this drink full of vegetables. And I have never felt healthier and cleaner in the insides. It may be hard, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. Two, if you always look away, you'll miss out on what you already have. For example, you kind of really want something, but then you realize you already have so much things that you need to care and tend for so that it'll actually grow and um, make a difference. If you keep looking out, that will take away your time of actually what working on what you already have and what matters. Three, don't ever feel small because you don't have to be perfect to actually make a difference and reach your goals. I got that from Cora. <laughs> Four, proactive evaluation. Yes, practice makes perfect, but if you just keep repeating the same mistakes, how will you ever get better? And how will you even find those things you need to work on if you don't ask yourself in every single aspect, what can you do better? Is this really enough? reconstruct our own realities. Like the saying, boiled water can soften potatoes but harden egg. Our realities basically depend on everything we do. How we say things, how we see things, the relationships we have with others, and all that. So our realities can really change depending on how we see it. Of course, not exactly the entire reality, but the way we come out of it is what changes and what we can control. Six. How you see yourself is how others will perceive you. Kind of contradicting to Johara's window, but basically what I mean is how you bring yourself, how you perceive yourself, really affects how people see you. So once you start being confident in yourself and actually believing that you can do it, then everyone will too. 7. Do more with less. Similar to a while ago, you already have so much in front of you and there's so much possibilities you can do with that. So, let's see it first. 8. Whatever works is not the best yet. So, kind of similar to proactive evaluation, don't ever settle. Everything can always be improved. You just have to find the initiative and be proactive about it to actually find how this can be better. So, oh, this is just cute. the places to film so number nine document 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 you should be a romantic of your life and give meaning to every single thing in it don't shrug it off and say eh, it's just a little thing or eh, it's just graduation or else it really won't mean anything it would just be a passing thing for you it's not ever going to be a milestone that you can look back to see your progress if you don't treat it as one or celebrate it or give importance to it you collect these so you see how far you've gone it's really just a ma reminder for me because i'm that person i'm i always forget like the first time i made something i was like eh <laughs> but you know looking back it's like wow i did that and i don't have something to remember it by or i might forget it in the future so 
10. There is no barrier when it comes to friendships because when I was like in grade 5, grade 3 or something, I'd always be like, eh, I shouldn't talk to them. They're like grade 5 and I'm grade 3. So growing up, you see that there really is no barrier at all. You just have to remove yourself from the categories you put yourself into and just realize that everything is an open field and you should really just be the first one to say hi. <laughs> 11. Be the person you want to meet first. Think of the person you want to meet or your favorite person and why they are your favorite. Do they make you feel welcome? Do they make you feel happy? Basically, what I'm trying to say is try to be that person first. So you always like feeling welcome, then be the first one to welcome. Don't expect people to be like, hey, it's okay. Be that person. Be the one, hey, you know, welcome. Blah, 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 blah. Four, words are really important. And I realized that only lately. It's what connects our insides to the souls of other people. That's why you should really be careful of how you say things, what you say no matter how you feel inside so you really have to be mindful because even though words are not material they can make a really big impact no matter if you see it or you you meant it or you felt it so you know even in the simple things how to message professors you know you have to be mindful and aware of how you craft your ideas and how you communicate to people Thirteen, your attitude in the small things will be your attitude in the bigger things. So how you treat the smaller things will also reflect in the bigger things in your life. For example, you want to push back fixing your table. That attitude and that decision and that habit of choosing to do that certain act will also reflect in other things and maybe even more important things. The habit will build on and it will reflect in things that may be more important than that thing you originally shrugged off. 14. You learn best when you realize it yourself. So really the best way to learn honestly is when you talk to people, when you reflect about it. When you give advice, when you ask questions, that's when you kind of realize and both of you both reach a certain destination. That's why I really like this video. It's called Critical Thinking. My friend said this is also another way you can help people realize their mistakes instead of plainly giving them advice and straight up telling them don't do that. You know, why don't instead you help them realize the solutions instead? Basically, you'll help them give them clarity. 15. It's the details that make a difference. Before, when I was younger, I've always thought it was like, hey, you know, I want to make something great. But you don't get from start to great immediately. You have to remember the minor small things that make up that great thing. So let's say you want to be the best student ever. You can't just go from zero to I want to be the best. You have to make sure in every single requirement you give your all and you give your best. It's also the subcategories of that. Make sure the entirety is good. So don't belittle the small decisions and the small events that take place because it is those accumulated moments if great will create something great as well 16 you learn through every single thing you've been through you just have to be smart enough to apply it basically i actually saw this post a couple of days ago and it talked about connecting your past with your present to create and connect the dots for the future you can use any of your experiences from the past and all your learnings from the past and apply it into unexpected things in the present so let's say for example back way back in english class you learn about communication then you encounter things in the future or in your present like user experience design you see here that you can apply that lesson from English class so how can this button inform the user that it's been pressed and it's in those things like that that you realize the things you learned in the past is basically your Dora's backpack you've got it all there you just need to use it that in turn will help you be a better problem solver and be more creative in solving your problems okay I need to pack this before I eat it You're all on different roads, not on the same path. So don't compare 
or else you'll end up not moving at all. No matter how similar you think you are to a person, if you compare, you're just gonna see them keep going that certain path and you're left just looking and not walking anymore on your own specific path. You have your own dreams, your own goals, and that goal does not align with anyone else because there's a specific thing that you want. And if you keep looking out, looking at other people's dreams and goals, then yours will just be really blurry and so unclear for you. So be nice to yourself and just focus on yourself. Ask yourself what you want. Do the things that will help you walk towards that path. 18. Don't be a passerby. Just don't let life live past. Live it. Like actually be in the moment. Because before I always think that I didn't put the mark of myself in the world like everything was just passing by and I was living like a passerby so I really started being myself and actually doing more things that I like rather than just letting time pass by and just waiting for fun things to happen I think this also kind of relates to my other lesson of document you really have to make sure that you keep proof receipts of what you do so that you can go back and kind of see how far you've gone 19 great things are done by design i got that from a book by peter Thiel, and he really explained that all the great things you see in the world you have to pay attention to the values the structure or the foundations you have as well as how you bring it out what i'm trying to say is that everything we see are the good stuff already and it looks so effortless it looks like wow you just got there we fail to see that a lot of work has been put into it a lot of strategizing a lot of effort and time we can't just wait for miracles to happen if we want great things of our own we have to design that to turn it into a reality and finally 20. everything boils down to what we create what we contribute to the world what we share in the things that we love doing so it really doesn't matter if you know everything in the world if you don't put it into action what good is it Alright! Oh my god, I'm so killing! So this is it. For my birthday, kasi, I was trying to make kind of like Monet's garden theme. Think of a pond with a lot of colorful flowers floating on it. So that's the theme I kind of wanted to go for. And I got so excited when I was packing this. Um, the original photo is that. As you can see, the details kind of went away, but like this is it. I even had stickers made. It's basically flowers floating on the water. And um, it, I'm super excited. I really love it so much. And look, I even have letters for some of the back there for my 20th birthday. Because <laughs> I'm giving them seeds and all and trees. Okay, let's fix that. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm running out of windows that have clean backgrounds, so this is kind of a weird lighting situation here. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Can I just say, I can't believe this is my last day of being a teenager. 19, tomorrow I'm 20. Let's go 20s club. I'm excited.